Now, since the blade is good and sharp, I think I'll go ahead and move on to the uh, side of the box. And let me show you a little bit about what we're going to do here. <clears throat> the way this pattern is made is the interior cut of this box fits exactly inside the exterior cut of the box. So what we'll do is go ahead and cut these out as close to the line as we can and then to get a real accurate fit inside here we'll actually go to uh, sanding. We'll sand the outside of the smaller box until it fits in here perfectly. And again you want to use a good sharp blade for this cut uh, in this one inch material. So make sure you start it out with a new blade. of the box cut and again this is the piece that our top will go on to and I've intentionally cut the top just slightly oversized by maybe a 32nd of an inch because once we glue this up after we get the top cut out and we glue this up we're going to take it and we're going to sand all these sides uh, flush to get everything uh, looking really nice. So now I'll go ahead and uh, cut out the interior of the box and then we'll move to the assembly table and start putting things together. over here and grab the exterior. What we're looking for when we get done is for this to slide inside of this box right here. And what we want is for right now for this to either be extremely tight or to not fit at all. And in this case it doesn't because we're going to sand this down to get a good fit. So we want to sand it until it just fits in there where it slides in nice and easy. So we'll move over to the, well actually I still have the top uh, flowers to cut out so I'll go ahead and do that now and then we'll go to the assembly table. all of our pieces and uh, finish this box. Next thing I'm going to work on is making the interior of this box fit inside the exterior of the box and I'm going to do that over at my belt sander. So I'm going to work on that for a minute and uh, when I get to this to where it fits in there real smoothly we'll come back and uh, start the glue up. I'm over here at the belt sander and I'm going to go ahead and begin to just lightly take uh, a little bit off of each side until I can make this box fit inside the exterior. Now if you don't have a belt sander, obviously you could do this sanding by hand. Just uh, wrap some wood around a block of wood or some sandpaper around a block of wood and sand it down until it fits. box sliding in and out of the exterior pretty well so I think we'll go ahead and take it back over to the assembly table. The next step of putting this box together is to go ahead and glue the top of the box onto the exterior side walls and we'll go ahead and glue the interior side walls to the bottom of the box. Now if you can see this when I glue this on here I want to get it as close to
the middle of this bottom as possible because when the top fits down, it'll fit down around this rim right here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those up. We'll let them dry and then we'll come back and uh, do some more sanding. I've given the glue about an hour to dry now on uh, the both halves of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clamps and uh, we're going to take these pieces over to the uh, belt sander and the spindle sander to finish them up. What we're looking for once we finish this box is once we have it all together, we want all these sides to be totally flush. So what I'm going to do is take it to the belt sander and flush all these sides up until they're nice and smooth and we'll probably round these corners over a little bit too just to give it a little better feel. So let's grab the pieces and head to the belt sander. I'm over here at the belt sander and I'm going to begin sanding on this piece. What I'm going to do is go ahead and assemble the box just like it is it would be in its finished state. I'm going to turn on my vacuum and the belt sander because we're going to create a lot of dust here. And I'm going to go ahead and sand on this piece until I get the edges nice and flushed up. It's going to get kind of noisy but I'm going to turn on the vacuum. taken the time to really sand these edges down really nice and smooth. Uh, probably took me 10 or 15 minutes to sand these down to this level. Now what I'm going to do is take it over to the spindle sander and round these corners and then we'll do a little hand sanding around all the edges to ease those edges and uh, then we'll apply the leaves. Taking the time to round the edges off here at the spindle sander. Next step, I'm going to take it back over to the assembly table and ease all these corners all the way around to take off the sharp edges. We'll go ahead and apply the 3D leaves and uh, put a little finish on it. 